So welcome your beautiful cheeks back to the channel and <laughs> in the last video I said if that video can hit 100 likes then I will be leveling up Gregoneth in this video. If this video can hit 100 likes then I'm gonna level up Gregoneth in the next video. So I guess from now on I better shut the hell up when I dare you guys to do something that I arguably don't want to do. I, I think I would have leveled Gregoneth up eventually anyway because it really does need the health and attack to survive, but as you can see, uh, I have it ready to take it to level 28, and it's doing very well for me. It, like I said, it just needs that little bit of health to push it up to where it needs to go. I'm actually incredibly close to Shores, but I did drop and lose 100 cups because RNG was not on my side at all. I, I got like stunned so many times and crit on, and it was crazy, but... The important thing is, I'm going to be leveling up Gregoneth so I can have that potentially not happen to me. Whether it helps or not, I have no idea. Maybe I've just wasted 150k, but that's to be decided. Anyway, I got some plans for this video. I unlocked Buck and Doe, so you will see that very shortly. And I also do have a new meta deck report and Tyrant tier list for you guys to check out. And I think everything turned out pretty well. By the way, if I do sound weird in the clips shown, that's because we were all just kind of having this whole ass get together in the Discord server where we were just streaming, laughing, and having a good time. So that explains that. That being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So yes, it is finally here. I have been teasing the new meta deck report and tier list for a long while now, but here it is on screen right now. And as you can tell, things have changed. So there is some new indicators to the right that show where creatures currently stand in the meta. Uh, purple does indicate that these are the creatures that are used the most. And as you can see right there, Sai is the current meta holder uh, king. We have green, which indicates a rise in the meta and red that indicates a fall and then gray is just kind of a neutral placement they aren't going any higher they aren't going any lower they're just kind of around that same area so i did get some of these stats off of paleo.gg so i'm just going to trust their wording on it that these are accurate i don't know if these count the top 50 or if they count like the general top 500 because i don't have the time to go through all the 500 teams and count down how many are using what but uh, I also have the new meta deck report for Doe, Buck, and Rexy. And as you can see here, both Buck and Doe share a 0% meta share, and it's obvious to see why. <laughs> they haven't been out for that long, and they haven't really gotten any special offers in the shop, whereas, you know, other creatures have. But Rexy does have a 2% meta share, and I think that comes from being in uh, arena teams, such as this one I found, which was pretty cool to see. Uh, so there are some people in the top 500 that use it, which kind of confirms my theory that the tier list, num like the numbers, do come from the top 500 in general. Someone in Paleo.gg could probably confirm that in the comments below if they're watching this. But I also have the 3.6 Tyrant tier list right here, which shows where creatures currently stand in the meta. I was kind of conflicted on where to put Spinosaurus, Aegypticus, Sin Raptor, um, but I think Sin Raptor is comfortable at the placement it is at now. Thylos is just at the edge right now. And Spino, we'll have to see a little bit more from it, but the fact that it can get 26-20 attack just with the training points like alone is insanely good. And then I kind of want to also touch up on Buck and Doe. So you might be asking why is Doe in mid Tyrant and Buck isn't? Well, the answer to that is the synergy abuse that Doe has. Doe has, uh, can't talk, swap prevention immunity, which helps out tremendously in a lot of matchups, and the point might be brought up, well, there isn't that many swap preventers in the meta. Well, yeah, there's not a lot of swap preventers in the meta. A lot of the swap preventers we do have are used in formats and tourneys, and a lot of them are just used for trap killing, so you can trap a creature, swap in, kill it, or you can just outright kill it. Uh, when you swap prevent it and that's one of the uh, problems the buck has as you can see i just unlocked it and i was insanely lucky with the incubators i got two rare incubators and an epic so i managed to unlock it like that and then i just went forward in a darting and i got it pretty good 
and I did the same with Doe. While I did do a little bit worse with Doe, I still unlocked her as well, as you can see here. Um, Alpha Intimidation, it's all right as a move for a turn one, but I think if it worked similar to how Dominant Roar worked, then it would be much, much better. The, as you can see here, there's absolutely no distraction resistance or swap prevention resistance, which really kills it off. Yeah, the stun is higher, but that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. The lack of distraction resistance also hurts it because in the grand scheme of things, the counter is not going to really do much. You're only going to get like 400 attack or something. Yeah, it just really doesn't matter. So that's why Buck is in low tyrant. It's just the fact that it can get synergy abused really fast. And it's slow as well. 104 speed, you're not going to get much. And even when you do slow something down with Alpha Intimidation, they're probably going to outspeed you regardless and just kill you, distract, like, any, any, when you get that alpha intimidation up, it'll most likely be nullified. However, Doe is really fast for a Rex build. 121 speed, I think, is the quickest Rex build. I'm not too sure, but somebody could correct me on that. While it, it is less bulky than Buck, it has the moves to back it up. So it has uh, Fierce Double Strike, it has IPI, Greater Nullification, and Maternal Roar, which help it out really really nicely it just comes all in like this nice package maternal roar and not having a delay helps it really really uh well having that like 7,000 damage at level 30 like right off the bat is insanely good especially paired with a 75 percent distraction resistance and swap prevention and like full-on immunity which helps it out a lot even against d song pyro rixies all of these trap killers that utilizing pinning you to just kill you outright is just something that a lot of creatures are looking for however here are some battles that i did record with what's up and it kind of just brings my point a little bit home with how both creatures are played so enjoy the show okay so this is a pretty good hand what i'm gonna do is i want to start dough because the last one screwed me over a lot Oh boy, <laughs> Alberto Spinus, okay. I think I kill it. Maternal Roar, there's like a 90% chance to, uh, from Maternal Roar to uh, Cray, which is really good. And it does carry on with the next turn, I'm pretty sure. That actually would not be terrible for Desung. I don't know if that one shots Desung because it doesn't bypass armor, it just destroys shields. But that damage is pretty good 4,500 not terrible so I can see that kind of killing D song oh okay well I missed my chance for a speed tie so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swap Alberto Sevier just because I want to get the chip damage off that's yeah I think that's reasonable we're having a crazy night tonight in the discord server everyone is just everyone is getting uh, lit tonight <laughs> i kind of joined in on it a little bit but me and what's up just kind of broke up from broke up bro oh my god i cannot speak <laughs> um okay i asked him to just help me out record and he was gracious enough to help me out cars are still going on at this time and it's like nine o'clock or whatnot it's like very very late i don't okay I completely missed the fact that he went for greater nullification. I don't know why he did that, but nonetheless, I did get a good hit off on him. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna speed tie this. Click, 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 click. Yeah, there we go. What's up is really good at speed ties, by the way. It's like we usually just have this huge battle when it comes to speed ties. It kind of varies. Quetzalajara, okay. The fun unique that I really wish I could get. Mm, yeah, I don't think I survive the Harpy into Aerial Dominance combo. So I'm just trying to get some chip damage off of him so I can bring in uh, Ho and kill him with uh, IPI. Yeah, so... Ooh, that, I probably actually could have survived that if he didn't get the crit. But now I have to kind of swap into Crytana Moloch. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, I'm gonna swap into... I'm gonna swap into you. This thing also kind of needs a little bit of a buff. It would have been really good a couple metas ago before the gun catalog, but now it's just very, very terrible. I mean, it's not, like, entirely shit. It's just, a, like, 
No, it's just, it's just not that good as it's niche to use. Okay, what I want to do, I want to try to stun it. I don't know how much it takes off the resistance, but it didn't. Okay. Oh, it took off 25%. All right. Well, I got an idea here. I think, I think Ho can kill it. Yeah, group afflicting impact. So he does kill me. This thing looks very, very fun. I wish I can unlock it and use it. I do not have that much tappy jar in there though. All right, I got a, I got a little bit of a trick up my sleeve. It's a bit, it's a 50, 50 and he knows it as well. It just depends what he brings out. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this, this can either work really good or really bad. I, wait, is how fast is Buck? I think Buck is 104, 105. This really does help out. See, this is just why a Buck doesn't really do good, because it just does. It's so slow for whatever reason. And then you just have Ho that is incredibly fast. Yeah, look at that. Buck is down and out. That was a fun fight. On to the next one. Okay, I got both Fuck and Ho. I'm gonna bring the dough out. Oh, there we go. Okay, I resist the stun. Doesn't Doe have 75%? Oh, it's 50. Okay. Alright. I just checked I just checked with what's up, it's 50. No, wait, does it die? Oh, it almost dies. Okay. All right, I don't, this might, mm, he could swap. He, he's probably predicting a swap. I'm gonna do it. Get Sigma Theory in here and trap kill him. Oh, he didn't swap, okay. Well, now I'm kind of screwed, but this is just a good example. Trap killers are very, very common, and that's why swap prevention immunity is so handy, because of that reason. He has his own dough. Oh my god, we're gonna have this buck and dough rematch. Alright. I think he kills me. Alright. Let's see. Sigma Theory needs a huge buff as well, man. Maternal Roar. Doesn't that kill me? I think that kills me. And it kills me. Alright. Well, time to bring the, the buck out. What's he gonna bring out here, I wonder? Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Oh my god, it's been it's been years since I've seen this thing. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I can wonder if I can trick him. Uh I don't know how much armor this gives me. I okay, 35%. That's not much. That if it were up to me, I'd probably put that at like 45% armor or something. Okay, resist the stun. If you're gonna make Buck like this, at least make it immune to stun, or just have some sort of other better resistances to bleed. Yeah, because it just dies. Alright, well, the dough is faster, but I'm not that stupid to bring it out now, because he's just gonna go for an ambush. So I'm gonna go for Kryton and Moloch, just do a little bit of fine trickery here. Flicting alert stun. If he's smart, he'll go for strike. Okay, nullify. Or he might go. He might go ambush. Okay, I swear to God, Kryton and Moloch, like, like four out of five times gets some sort of crit. 
I was also a crit, I think. It just needs some sort of counter attack, though. Just some sort of counter, you know, I guess, higher attack. I, I don't know where you could get this thing. Just maybe a non escape. Alright, I'm gonna go for Sly Rampage and Run because it's gonna be very hard to escape the Maternal Roar IPI combo. Yeah, you're going to Fear Strike. Okay. I, I would have probably gone for. Uh, what is it? Ambush. But, you know, that's just me. So Sly Ray Pigeon Run is just going to take me right... Oh, that's a cool animation. I don't know if... Is that new? It might be new. Or they might have just stolen it from an Omega. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Okay, swapping. Earl of Dominus. Oh. Earl of Dom. Okay. Do I... Wait, do I kill it? This isn't precise, I don't think. Oh, it's not, but I think I got the bypass anyway. That being said, I kill it here, and Erlodom goes is down and out. Doe is not terrible. I'll definitely have to be using it in the next format. We'll see, though.